Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to write the equation of a parabola in vertex form. The first thing you need to do is start with the vertex formula. y equals a x minus h squared plus k. Basically there's five spots where numbers can be placed. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And we know four of those uh, numbers. We know a value for four of those. So we're going to, whoops, we're going to uh, plug that in and find the missing part. So here we go. I have a vertex. The vertex, remember, is my H and my K. And I just need one other point. x and y. Any point will do. So you just need one point and the vertex and you can write the equation of a parabola. So I start off and I'm like, hey, do I know a y value? Yes, I do. y is negative 3. Do I know an a value? Let me see. h, k, x, y. Nope. So that's the missing part that I have to find. Uh, x. Do I know an x value? Yes. 0. Do I know an h value? Yes, 2 squared plus k. k is negative 5. So instead of plus negative 5, I could have written minus 5 there as well. Now, the number one mistake people make is like how to solve for the a. And well, I've seen people do lots of different things. The main thing is you have to always follow the order of operations. So we look right here. We need to know an answer to that. So we have to know the value of that. What is 0 minus 2 squared? 0 minus 2 squared. That's We have to get that value. Okay. 0 minus 2, of course, is negative 2. And when you square a negative 2, you get a positive 4. So we change this first piece right here into 4 times a. And I don't want to write a4. I want to write 4a. So 4a, and then let's go ahead and make that minus 5 equals negative 3. Now we just have a basic two-step equation. But the number one mistake people make is they don't want to simplify that yellow part that I wrote there. Continuing from here, simple steps, adding 5, we get 2 is equal to 4a. Let me slide my screen down a little bit. Divide by 4. And that would be a half. So a equals one half. Now I'm not done. That's just finding the missing part. What I need to do now is write the equation. So I'm going to write the equation. The equation is y equals a. I know what a is. a is one half now. And then x minus h squared and then plus negative 5 or minus 5. So this equation right here models models that situation of a vertex of 2, negative 5 and a, a an, an extra point of 0, negative 3. It can be any point. This one just happens to be the y-intercept. All right. Sometimes people want to ask me why, why um, you didn't put x and y back in. Well, it goes back to the original equation, the original equation up here, the basic equation. So the basic equation, if we look at that, you have to understand that a is a number, h is a number, and k is a number. a, h, and k are numbers. That call, that those, those letters as numbers are called constants. So they're constants. They're some number. But see, x and y are always changing. They're variables. So you don't know what x and y is. Now, if we, we choose an x, we can calculate y. But you have to pick it. That's why it's called the independent variable. You pick whatever x you want, and then you can find y. But a is a constant. a doesn't change. We found a to be a half. h was given because from the picture of the parabola. And k was given because of the picture of the parabola. So there we go. That's how you write the equation. Um, let me go full screen here. That's how you write the equation of a parabola in vertex form. 